Hello YouTubers, Manny here from Manny's How To Workshop. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a video for you on how to make a really cheap, inexpensive uh, worm tower using a five gallon bucket that you can get from just about anywhere. Uh, I just happen to have this old, uh, I guess, pool supply uh, bucket. Or actually, it's actually detergent bucket. Yeah, I just saw it right there. <laughs> But anyway, so all you need is a five gallon bucket. Um, you need a half inch drill bit, preferably a regular drill bit like this one. This one makes nice clean holes. Um, you may have some burrs in there, but you could always come back with a wire brush, a little scraping knife to get that out uh, and have a clean hole. Okay, so, and then you're gonna need a top. Uh, I just happen to have this extra uh, HD bucket top that I'm gonna use to cover this when I put everything in there and then you're also going to need to put something heavy on top of here just just to keep uh, critters out you know squirrels possums whatever and without snapping this close see these little vent holes right there that actually allows a little bit of air to get in there I mean I can close it tight and then it'll be completely sealed because I'm gonna put it in the ground up to this level here so these holes will be underground all right and going to need some kind of air in there if you've seen anything about composting you know that yeah the comp the worms they like it moist because they breathe through their skin and oh by the way this is going in my uh, fruit garden back there I got a spot that I already dug out I'm going to show you that when we get back there but uh, so I'm going to try this here uh, to see what uh, what happens you know I've heard it it works pretty well and this is a uh, lady who has a channel <laughs> that made a couple put it in her uh i guess raised bed gardens and very successful at turning everything she puts in there vegetable scraps from the kitchen you know fruit scraps uh certain fruit scraps anyway uh, nothing uh, acidic but turned into nice beautiful compost that she turns around and dumps right back into the same soil uh, that she's planting all her good stuff in but anyway so basically what you need to do, like I said, half inch drill, and you're gonna drill the holes from the bottom to the top, to right about that lip right there. And I spaced mine out two to three inches apart from here to here, and about the same from here, from top to bottom. Uh, you know, just evenly spaced, like I said, you can see all the way around, you know, the holes are there. That ensures that, you know, the worms find plenty of places to come in and uh, start working on that, you know, stuff that you put in there. So this one here, I was using it as a metal scrap bucket. I cleaned it out, rinsed it all out. Uh, you know, a little sediment down at the bottom, that's nothing. You know, this is, it's nothing that's gonna cause an issue for the worms, okay? So basically the theory is this, you know, you just put that in the ground, bury it, put your scraps in there. Also, you need to put a little bit of uh, compost and food on the very bottom of the bucket before you put it in the hole to entice the worms you know in case they're coming in from the bottom and then you set this on top and then you layer it in there with the other stuff and i'll show you that out there once we uh, head out that way okay so here are the scraps that i have uh you know i got some banana peel onion peel some papaya peels uh this is what i'm going to put on the bottom um, of the bucket to entice the worms and then I'm going to take this and this I'm going to throw it in this bucket that I already have some uh, compost I already made for my uh, compost tumbler which you can check out my other videos on my channel about that how I made that and how I use it but I'm going to go ahead and dump like I said I'm going to dump this in here like that I'm going to take all these scraps right there just dump that in there as well just like that and then mix it all up along with you know like I said the stuff that I already pre-made and that's what I'm gonna put inside that bucket once I set everything in the ground What this is going to do, this mixing that I'm doing, 
once the um, all the scraps start to break down, it's going to release a lot of moisture, which the worms will love. Because like I said, it allows them to, uh, you know, make it nice for them because they breathe through their skin and that way it doesn't dry out. And here in Florida, we have very sandy soil. So making compost is a good thing because it's a soil, you know, uh, amending the soil by using uh, homemade compost. Okay, I'm gonna bring you over there to the hole now and then I'll show you how I'm gonna assemble this together. All right guys, here's the hole I was telling you about. Okay, it's very sunny, so you probably won't be able to see inside the hole, but I already dumped some of the black uh, pre-made compost that I have in there, in the hole. And I'm gonna go ahead and dump uh, the food right here as well, like that. I'm just gonna move that around, like so, so that way there. Like I said, when the worms smell that, they can come running. Okay, now I'm gonna place the bucket in there. Like that. And I decided to keep the, uh, the handle on my bucket. So when this bucket fills up with compost, I can just twist it and then grab the, bucket, the handle and pull it out of the hole and then switch it out with another bucket or just dump it out. Uh, I'm probably gonna make a uh, compost, uh, you know, warm compost drum with a five gallon bucket and a screen that it tumbles. So you just dump it in there and it filters out so that way you can get the worms out too at the same time. But anyway, so that'll be the next video. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and dump that mix that I made. And if you want to, you can you can put all kinds of stuff in here too. You can put uh, shredded paper, which I might go I might go ahead and go look for some, and put some in there. And then I'm gonna wet this down as well. So let me go get that water and come right back. Okay, guys. So basically, I got me some rainwater that I collect, and I'm just gonna wet this down a little bit like that. And that's all you gotta do. And then cover it like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab a brick that I have. Right here. I'm just gonna grab this brick and put that on top. Like I said, the squirrels and possums they might smell it and decide to just like that so now I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the sides where I dug it like this Said, just I'm gonna fill it right up because you want to cover all the holes, like I said, right up to that rim. Keep the bugs out, bugs that you don't want to go in there, you know, to create problems. Uh, just get this handle back up here a little bit, tuck in dirt slash sand. There. You can see that. Okay, there we go. This handle doesn't want to stay up, but okay. I think that's that's pretty good right there. And what I can do is keep checking on it. But I know squirrels are gonna come over here and try to dig a dig around it. So I have to keep an eye on it because they love burying the stupid nuts 
Every time they see something like a fresh dirt, they want to come and start digging around it. You know? But that's pretty much it, guys. Like I said, you make your bucket. You know, the way I showed you to do it with a half-inch drill. You know, dig yourself the hole, same size as the bucket. And then put some food at the bottom with some compost in the hole first. And then put some food inside the bucket to for the worms. So once they find it, they can come inside and start breaking that stuff down. And then, you know, I would feed in the beginning. I'm going to have to, like, keep, keep an eye on this, check it, like, about every week or so, just to see if it's breaking down, because you can tell by the level. When it starts going down, you know that the worms are coming in there to uh, do what they got to do, you know. But I'm um, probably going to go get some uh, shredded paper, put it in there, wet it down, and then close it back up. All right, guys. As always, thanks for thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right, take care. Bye.